Meanwhile, at AMV headquarters... You see, Scott, after the Season 7 premiere, we received quite a bit of backlash about the show. Many parents were upset, you know, and they just felt um, it was just a little bit too much. It was a little too violent. I'm sorry to say, but I think we're going to have to go ahead and just uh, throttle it back just a little bit. Um, it just, you know, so many people complaining, the ratings going down, advertisers backing out. I'm afraid the series is just becoming a little bit too, a little bit too violent, it seems. So, going forward, we're just going to have to just throttle back just, just a little bit. Not, not too much, but just a little bit. I'm afraid there's going to have to be some changes around here. Okay, so for this all-out war, does it have to be a war? What about instead if we just have them get in some heated arguments? You know, like a heated debate over, you know, Negan and, and Rick and what's going on. And then maybe afterwards they, uh, you know, they, they all get together and they cook some spaghetti. I think parents would find that much more acceptable. On the advertiser front as well, I'm afraid we, we're going to make some changes. Um, you know, a lot of people just feeling like maybe, you know, maybe our advertisers and our commercials are just a little bit too mature for our audience. So we've gone ahead and we've, uh, we've reached out to Nerf. And, um, you know, I'm happy to say that they are very interested in working with us. Maybe we can incorporate some Nerf guns, some product, some product placement in the show had some ideas right off the bat the their uh, the rep told me possibly you know a special edition uh rick nerf gun right a colt some kind of special edition colt and uh maybe even you know for birthday parties uh you know a little bit more a uh, high price item possibly a nerf lucille bat you know it could be foam and and you know if you hit another kid on the head with it uh you know uh, what a surprise uh, no uh, no blood splatter no brain no brain tissue no brain matter no brain splatter and then possibly even a real hit one when Rick eventually does defeat Negan, right? When he does best him, he could say, you know, it's Nerf or nothing. Man, I'm sure that would sell a lot of kids' toys. Absolutely. Let's, let's go forward with this. And this whisperer group that walks around and has these raspy, whispery voices. Ah, keep up. You know, it's just ah, blood everywhere and, and skins and everything. Uh, I, I just, I just, ah, I don't, I, I don't know. What about if instead of having, you know, the raspy voices and the blood and, you know, gore everywhere and zombie skins, we, we had them speak kind of lighter, you know, and, and wear Technicolor suits. Like, uh, yeah, like, like Teletubbies, you know, whisper, whisper, bye bye. So I'll, I'll say this was, this was a great meeting. I think we've made a lot of progress today, and I think that uh, going forward, we have a good eye on the direction and, and where we're going with the show. Uh, this, uh, this Greg Nicotero character, you know, uh, instead of blood, you think he can, you know, m remix that. We'll, we'll use water instead, you know, water balloons, water, you know, happy jolly, and get him to do, instead of such dark makeup all the time, let's get some brighter colors in there, some bright pinks, some whites, some greens. Yeah, like, yeah, like clowns, you know. So thanks for your time and attention today, everyone. Uh, you know, hope you have a great day, and I think this is uh, uh, the right direction to go in uh, for the show. I'm very excited to see how viewers uh, how viewers respond to this. I think that they're really going to like this, and uh, you know, we're going to develop some great partnerships with other companies, and this is going to be uh, this is going to be great. I'm I'm very excited about the future of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Instead of whispering and be. <laughs> all raspy, they could be all, all jolly and happy and <laughs> let's go see what Rick's doing.